home once again. Join me in the classroom and see how the free stage of this lesson will be done. All right, let's uh, now review what we have taken up so far. Um, we have said that the present perfect tense, yes, Therese? Um, it expresses an action which begins in the past and is going on until the present time. Okay, very good, Therese. Now, take a look at the timeline. Remember the timeline I presented to you? You may take your seat first, Therese. Uh, take a look at the timeline that I will write on the board. Now, I mentioned that I started teaching in 19... 1985. And I am still teaching... Up to now, it is 1998, okay? Therese, would you like to come to the board now and explain what you just said using the timeline which I had drawn? Yes, ma'am. Like to use this? Yes, um, Ms. Lorenzo started teaching in 1985, and she's still teaching. This idea is what the present perfect tense is all about. It expresses an action which begins or starts in the past and uh, continues until the present. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, that's very good, Therese. Are there any questions at this point? None? Okay. Now, um, now that everyone understands this very basic concept of the simple present perfect tense, Let's try another activity. Now, um, this will be the last part of our lesson. And I'm going to give you a check sheet that will look like this. You will see listed here First column, activities, names of classmate, then how long, for how long, since when. You will interview, you will go around and interview your classmates to find out about their hobbies, books read, sports or games played, chores done at home, and TV shows watched. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? As you go around interviewing your classmates, Please do not be too concerned about uh, the grammar. Just be concerned about getting the information from your classmates. Okay? Are there any questions? Yes, Justine. Um, how much time will you give us, ma'am? Oh, don't worry. I'll give you as much time as you need. What I want you to try to do is to interview as many of your classmates as possible. You don't even have to worry too much about the grammar. You'll most likely make use of the simple present perfect tense, no? But then, uh, just try to get information from your classmates to fill up your check sheet. Is that clear? Okay, I'll distribute uh, the sheets of paper. Get one. Have your ball pens ready. On my signal, I'd like you all to stand does everyone have a sheet? Okay. Maybe you can put your things aside so they don't fall and then hold on to your check sheet and your ball pen. And on my signal, everyone stand and go around. No? So try to interview everyone in class. Okay? Let's begin. Everyone, stand. Classmates, questions. What again is the stage? The free stage activity enables the students to perform some kind of task or activity. In so doing, the teacher draws on any of the language skills acquired up to that point in time. Any kind of activity is acceptable as long as the students communicate freely. That is, 
without inhibitions whatsoever. The free stage activity focuses on fluency and not on accuracy. It is at this stage when the student uses his or her knowledge of other structures, which of course have been previously taught and learned. In fact, the likelihood is that the learner communicates freely without reservations. And this is the very essence of language teaching. Before I give you the final recap of today's episode, let's take a station break. Don't go away. Thank you.